Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for October 13th. October 13th is the 286th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 287th in leap years, with 79 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is a featured word from vocabulary.com, and the word is amazement. Amazement is a noun that means the feeling that accompanies something extremely surprising. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes below. Ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Stay to the end for the outtakes we're very likely to have <laughs> and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Remember that you can share this video with others with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. Also, there is a link to the This Day in History playlist in the show notes below, and I think it's this corner. It's easy to get mixed up. It's this corner. I'll put a link in the I cards in this corner to that uh, playlist for you. And with that, we're going to start on October 13th in the year 54 when Roman Emperor Claudius died from poisoning under mysterious circumstances. The present church building at Westminster Abbey was consecrated on October 13, 1269. On October 13, 1307, King Philip the Fair, that's what he was called, I don't know how fair it was, but that's what he was called, had hundreds of Knights Templar arrested and tortured in order to force them to confess to heresy. What I know about that is that heresy was pretty much anything that didn't fully agree with the order of the day. The cornerstone of the United States Executive Mansion, which we now know as the White House, was laid on October 13, 1792. B'nai B'rith, the oldest Jewish service organization in the world, was founded in New York City on August 13, 1843. This is the birthday of a baseball pitcher who went by the moniker of Rube Waddell. He was born October 14, 1876. He was quite the strikeout pitcher and he had a mean fastball too. <laughs> During the off season, <laughs> he would go wrestle alligators with the circus he was fascinated by fire trucks and could be easily distracted by puppies and shiny objects. <laughs> he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1946. He only lived to the age of 37, though. He uh, died of tuberculosis. The Georgia Institute of Technology was founded in Atlanta, Georgia on October 13, 1885. The first comet discovered by photographic means was discovered by Edward Emerson on October 13, 1892. This is the birthday of Edith Spurlock Sampson, born October 13, 1901. She was the first African-American U.S. delegate to the U.N., as well as the first black woman elected to bench in Illinois. Pretty remarkable for someone who had to drop out of school at the age of 14 to help support her family. She lived at the age of 77, and I've placed a link in the show notes to more information about her. On October 13, 1903, the Boston Red Sox won the first Modern World Series, defeating the Pittsburgh Pirates in the eighth game. This is the birthday of comedian and actor Lenny Bruce, born October 13, 1925. Colorful character, Lenny Bruce. <laughs> he performed edgy satirical humor. In his day, he was considered offensive because he was loose and easy with the curse words. In fact, he was arrested several times for this and eventually tried for obscenity. This was a landmark case for freedom of speech in the United States. He wrote and performed voice work for a cartoon called Thank You, Mask Man. <laughs> There's a link in the show notes. And as I watch this again, because I do watch the videos that I link for you, I realize that nowadays 
many people wouldn't be fazed by the language he used, the language that got him into so much trouble in the 50s and 60s, language that is frankly commonplace these days. But in 2020, he would be absolutely deplatformed because of his approach to subject matter. Lenny Bruce, he died at the age of 40 due to a drug overdose. His epitaph reads, Beloved Father, Devoted Son, Peace at Last. Lenny Bruce. This is also the birthday of Margaret Thatcher, born October 13, 1925, same day as Lenny Bruce. <laughs> Nicknamed the Iron Lady, she was the longest serving British Prime Minister of the 20th century and the first woman to do so. She lived to the age of 87. This is the birthday of singer-songwriter Paul Simon, born October 13, 1941. Still alive, he turned 79 in 2020. And the birthday of billionaire businessman and Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, born October 13, 1942. He turned 77 in 2020. On October 13, 1946, France adopted the Constitution of the Fourth Republic, this is the birthday of singer-songwriter Sammy Hager, born October 13, 1947. He's had a long and active music career, performed with Van Halen. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Van Halen, but what I always remember him for was his 1984 anthem, I Can't Drive 55. <laughs> and yes, I've placed a link in the show notes to that for you also. On October 13, 1962, the Pacific Northwest experienced a cyclone, the equivalent of a Category 3 hurricane, with winds above 150 miles an hour. That's pretty rough. The first electron micrograph of an Ebola virus was taken at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on October 13, 1976. The first U.S. cellular network was launched in Chicago, Illinois on October 13, 1983. Can you imagine it was that long ago? This was by a company called Ameritech Mobile Communications. And there's plenty more to October 13. It's been a busy day throughout history, lots of birthdays, but I think that is going to do it for us today. Hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs> As always, links to my research are included in the show notes below. Remember that uh, link to the playlist for the This Day in History series, and it'll also be an iCard up there. Thanks for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. And come back tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks again and I'll see you next time. You know, when did I get my ears mixed up? I sure did, doggone it. All right, hold on. Okay, hold on now. Back in order, we're good, okay. I just got the pop-up that says my computer's head is full. I need to blow its nose. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty ambitious project. Okay, just leave that part out. Not the first day, but the birthday. I guess the birthday is the first day. This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. <laughs> I might leave that part out. <laughs> I don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Yeah, we're going to cut those out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up.